Dakota Lamity, Kurt Grandbauer, Tim Jackson, Gavin Thomas, Callum Burling, Stevie Collins, Ari Meehan, Casey Collins for round seven of the Campbell's Truck and Bobcat Series at Garena. And Dan Lewis gets the jump up high. He's able to get a real fast lead to turn number one. We get to the exit. Oh, we've got one around for it, Hooper. Oh, that will bring on the yellow. Dan Lewis will be absolutely spitting chips right now. Spoke to Dan in the pits at interval. I said, what do you got for that 60 car? Mud lights all stacking up. Very early start the green flag waves. Into turn one they go. Just on Foster could jump and Jackson's gone round. And one's up and over. Warren Hooper. Oh, Warren Hooper for the second time in succession has gone upside down in the Queensland 76. He's out of the car, folks. Make some noise. Put your hand together for Warren Hooper. And a race start for the Mud Lights here at Autobahn Karina International Speedway. Oh, Dan Lewis rockets around the outside. He gets high and wide into turn one and loose lost momentum. Now Lubel goes to the inside. Dan Lewis went from first to third into turn number one. Boss leads the first lap, and he's done nearly all tonight. 20 laps will be the distance around here at Karina. A lot of racing to go. Brody Boss very close to the fence out of turn four that time. Using every single bit of the racetrack. The battles get dicey. Midfield as Collins goes around. Steve Collins rotates the car into turn one. Casey Collins, trying to avoid, slams on the brakes, throws the car sideways and hits the door of the 61 machine. That mid-pack battle is not where you want to be right now. Absolutely treacherous. Boston Larenbelt, Lewis Lavity up to four. Green flag at Karina. Oh, Boss the pace! Lewis goes past, Lewis gets with it! Brody Boss missed the gear in the start, Lavity makes contact with Boss! Dakota Lavity up to third place, now Boss goes back to fifth! And he's still dropping into the Queensland 60 machine! Chris Fing, the current fourth, he's leading this one from T. 
Tim Jackson, Gavin Thomas, Paulus, Greenbelt, Snow. That's a six car battle for fourth back. Casey Collins now starting to pierce smoke out of the back of that car. The Queensland 21 car, Billy Bill and Healthy as well. Out front, Lirabelle still has a big lead. He's got two lap cars between him and second place, Dan Lewis. But the battle is here in the midfield right now. Still the six car battle. Polish looking around the outside of Thomas and it's gone through turns one and two. Side by side in the back straight away to the 99. Able to drive and hold up that spot. As Figgy gets a big push in the middle of turn three. Gets the car out of shape. Timmy Jackson hot on his bumper. Polish in the 48, still trying to hold up around the 99. And Finn goes wide again, Thomas. Lose the position of Polish now. Then Polish goes to the outside of Jackson. Tim Jackson slots back. He falls to sixth place now. Polish is up the fifth. They've been pushed in after heat as well. He's done it back in the field. He's now up to fifth place. And the yellows come on. Tyson Snow and Bailey Imhoff have come together in a turn number two. And the roof hatch comes up with a one one five. Pinch or anything like that. The lights are out. We're set to go green again and watch Lyran Belt here. When does he go? Lewis right on his heels as his lavity. Oh, Lewis caught napping. Really a race start for Terry Lyran Belt. Waited from a little touch from Lewis, and as soon as he did, he pushed right foot down and drove away from him. Lewis with a pretty good run through one and two. Pulled the gap to Lavity in third. Oh, Terry had a bit of a check up there. And it turned four. Timmy Jackson has come from sixth place up to fourth right now. Go past Bing as Bing and Paul's going to get it in Thomas. Gets sent around in turn number two. The yellows will come back on. Keller Burling had to spin to avoid it as well. Lewis will want a better start this time. He hangs back from the 25. Green flag flies and we're racing. Same result for Terry Lirenfeld. Here comes Polish now to the outside of Jackson into turn one. Polish tries that outside and has to get out of it to avoid the wall. Tim Jackson holds on to the fourth place. Polish again goes high into turn number three. They're side by side in the front straight and Jackson gets it all crossed up. He loses one, he loses two spots as Thomas goes past. Now Casey Collins goes with him. Jackson goes from fourth to seven. He's got Graham Bowers with him now. So he might take another position as well. Polish is on the back of Lavity now. All over her rear bumper. Lavity running the middle of the track and trying to block his run. But Polish with a very good crossover move. He takes the race lead. The 48 up in the third spot now. And he still has a lot of pace left in that race car. Lurabelle leads from Lewis. Lavity slips back to four. Polish with third. That's going to be Thomas fifth, Collins sixth. Seventh is Jackson, Rambauer, Feeling, Stone, Steve Collins, Chris Fink, Abby Mayer. The battle's still on for the minor position right now. But Nathan Pollard just caught up to Lewis, and Rabbity goes round into turn one. From fourth spot, Dakota spins around the race car, the 89 machine will be rear of field and that is probably the sight that Nathan Pollock wanted to see right now. Green flag and we're racing again. And once again a brilliant start from Loonbell. Ball's a good gap to Lewis. He's got a nice game to Pollock as well. Thomas has made himself up to four like that to cut Pollock and Tim Jackson. Good run for Thomas so far. He's going to be doubling his points. This is exactly what he needs. Big bag of points for the 99 
Rebecca. Casey Coulson makes the work on that top line in turn one. Gets a pitch down the, in the turn two and down the back straightaway. Trying to make inroads to the 99. Here comes Pollock now to the outside of Dan Lewis. What a great run for the 48. Nathan Pollock up to second. And I suspect he's not done yet, folks. Keep an eye on that 48 machine. He's reeling into a race lead up. One flag, one more to go. Tim Jackson into turn number one. Rotating the white Chevy 229 car. Two laps to the side. Round seven of the Campbell's Truck and Bobcat Series. Green white checker is Paul and Lurabelle. Into turn one and Paul's gets a good drive off the corner. He's to the back marker and Leonardo Paul's up against the wall. Nathan Paul has ripped the right side of the car off. And he makes contact with the wall in a turn. Out of turn two. Lumel takes the white flag. And the yellows come back on. What a finish. Well, they were given one attempt at a green white checker. the checkered flag. He started the entire night from the rear of the field and he comes away as the feature race winner for round seven of the Campbell's Truck and Bobcat Series. He's the fast farmer from Dolby. Make some noise for the Q25 of Terry Lundberg.